Hello and welcome to the 14th and technically 15th episode of Poetry Corner. The first one is called Fairy Tale and is written on the 30th of August 2009 and the second was called Sanctuary and it was written on the 31st of August 2009. So what's going to happen with this one is because there's two poems in this video because they're both interlinked. One is a different version of another. So if you wish to see the sad version, then click on the little link here somewhere. And if you want to see the happier version, see here. This could be our fairy tale, where the fate of the night depends on the sword. And you could be my hero in chainmail, protecting me from the demons that torment. You could be the royal member and I could be the common peasant. Yet our love knows no bounds, and we can soar into the twilight. We shall meander our way amongst the stars, and then we'll begin to fall. But your feet will land firmly on the ground, and I shall fall into your arms. We shall run freely amongst the fields of jasmine that sway elegantly in the breeze, and we shall laugh with childish humour as we fall onto our knees. But then the time shall come when the king discovers who I am, and it is written in law that we are not to unite. He'll throw both you and I into the stockade and keep us locked up throughout the night. We shall look into the stars and reminisce in the memories of that fateful night, where you and I both unbound the law and broke free from the kingdom and meandered through the skies. Our time has come, and what was said shall be done, but at least we shall do this together, though it was not intended. We are and will remain connected, even after we are beheaded. The gallows silhouette amongst the blackened sky taunt us eerily. I shed a tear as I look to the twilight, and see your feet hanging freely. My time has now come, so just hold on for a second, and we shall reunite in heaven. This could be our fairy tale, where the fate of the night depends on the sword. And you could be my hero in chainmail, protecting me from the demons that torment. Amongst the flowers we shall lay, side by side and gazing into each other's eyes. Feeling the caress of the sunlight upon our face, and the sweet scents that navigate the breeze. It was here where the dragon was once slain by your hand to defend the kingdom. The sanctuary we call our home. It was your duty, the king did say, though he knew ill of your intentions, for our sanctuary resides within ourselves, and develops as we are together. The sound of crushed flowers shall disturb our time of bliss, as the kingdom's soldiers come charging through, disturbing our conclusive kiss. For you and I are not meant to be, so it has been told. His law dictates we are not destined to be, because you are heir to the throne. You are to marry a noble, the king proudly announced, and he gazed at me with bitter distaste, for I am a simple commoner, and my love shall be denounced. We are bound by shackles, attached to hands and feet, but as we march forward we share a glance and feel our minds retreat. Our love unbound creates a powerful sound, as we soar throughout the skies, for we have no intention to part in our uncharted hearts, as we gaze into each other's eyes. Then as reality sets back in, we are greeted by the hazy din from the greyness of the stockade stone. Though we remain together, and you say you shall never surrender, the time will come when we are torn. For I am everything but a simple commoner in your eyes, yet I shall remain a commoner within theirs. I am a scar upon society, an unnecessary entity. A royal member should not be seen dead with the likes of who I am. Though I remain devotedly happy that you see things beyond as they stand. The gallows silhouette amongst the blackened sky taunt us eerily. I shed a tear as I look to the twilight and see the noose hanging freely. The stands are littered with noblemen, cheering and hurling obscenities. And I see you upon the balcony looking at me so earnestly. You unsheathe your sword and raise it proudly above your head. Then you jump from the crowd and garrote the executioner instead. We gaze into each other's eyes briefly, and the familiar feelings in our hearts return, where we feel like we can soar through the sky, and weave our way through the clouds. The audience screams and shouts as the king places a bounty on our head. I feel your hands upon my waist as you pull my body from the floor. We break through the city's defences with our horse valiantly galloping, 
The portcullis looms overhead, but our horse just keeps on running. Finally, we have left the kingdom and can unite in each other's arms. Our horse gallantly trots, and we embrace beneath the stars. A hushed wind sweeps over the land and the rains begin to sway. Though there is no need to hold on so tightly as we have broken away. The king and his nobles no longer reign over our lives. We are destined to be together as it is written in the skies. Amongst the flowers we are laid, side by side and gazing into each other's eyes, feeling the caress of sunlight upon our face and the freedom that navigates the breeze. It was here where the dragon was once slain by your hand to defend the kingdom, the sanctuary we call our home. It was your duty, the king did say, though he knew ill of your intentions. For our sanctuary resides within each other, and not a part of this tragic kingdom. This could be our fairy tale, my love, where the fate of the knight no longer depends upon the sword, and you will remain my hero in chainmail from the demons that no longer torment. This is our fairy tale. A sweet sound for eternity. But this is not just a fairy tale, because we have made it reality. Okay, so what did you think of both of them? Um, fairy Tale and Sanctuary were both written in conjunction with a book I'm writing called Tragic Kingdom. Um, so this poem is heavily based on the plotline of that story, and as it stands I don't know how to end the book, whether it will be a sad ending or a good ending, so I wrote two poems back then to emphasise them. Although it seems that Sanctuary is hell of a lot longer than Fairy Tale was. <laughs> so yeah, what do you think? How can you apply to your life? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you with the next episode of Poetry Corner which will be a poem entitled... Give me a second to find out because I forgot. Um, it will be a poem called Denied. And I will see you with that next time. Until then, goodbye. It was your duty. The king did say. Jade, no. Jade, move. Move. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck you now. Oh, this doesn't stay still now. Right, distraction free. Fucking distractions. As soon as my dog shut the fuck up, I can start recording. <laughs>